Hey guys, welcome back to the Wandering Wind. Um, we're doing day two of the Wind Balloon Festival event. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and get right into it. So what about this day one? Day 12, two days old. Oh wait, I got some improvements to do. Uh, let's see. Nice. Oh well. Okay. So first of all, oh nice. I think we even got enough to where I could. I mean, I'm gonna wait and see about getting Vegeta. But she's gonna be a great dendro applicator and uh, possibly a good DPS later on. So I'm gonna wait on her. Okay. Well, days old. So one. Day after tomorrow. Let's go for training. Well, there we go. So, how have you all been doing? I've been doing pretty good myself. It's just been a long couple of days, honestly. Um, I wanted to get videos done for my ministry channel, so that kind of took up all my time. Um, it's currently Tuesday morning at 12.51 a.m. So I'm kind of supposed to be able to sleep and get up and go to work. But I figured I'd go ahead and take some time to play and record some videos with you. Sucrose, we're here. At least one. I'll do part one of this at least. Part two will probably have to wait until later. Oh, Traveler, Paimon. I only just arrived myself. So I'm still getting ready. And I actually uh, and on auto Kali just passed by a moment ago. Quicker. She said she had some things to sort out at the inn where she's staying, but she'll meet up with us when she's done. Aww. Apparently, Tainari and Sino both went out, but she stayed behind because she wanted to help us. Understood. Not too bad. After reviewing it again with fresh <coughs> eyes, mm, I came up with a new me. theory which seems to hold some water. I'll attempt to explain it as simply as I can. I believe short, that each words. of the four things <laughs> in the prophecy refers to a different field of knowledge. So, in a way, the prophecy is a test of the reader's intelligence. Oh, fun. But it's unlikely for any one person to have expertise in all these different areas. So I suggest that we seek out one expert from each and get their opinion. Okay. Also, in two out of the four areas, the prophecy seems to want us to find specific people. It may even turn out that the people themselves are the answers. Oh, cool. Hmm. Interesting. That sounds like we should put our heads together and list out the people who can help us. Exactly. I think we can go through each riddle in turn and generate four groups of names to match the four questions. Awesome. All right, then let's start from hmm. group one. The first riddle was a flower that is not of this world. Well, Personally, that sounds like Albedo. I would still go with Albedo for this one. Mm -hmm. Alchemy is the most likely to have to do with otherworldly things, and he is by far the leading expert in this regard. Yeah, you're an expert too, you know. Exactly! You're the creator of the Tetratanic Sweet Flower! Who knows? Maybe that's the flower we're looking for. Huh? Maybe. You really think so? <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm thinking that a wind bloom might just be... He's a forest watcher and knows all about plants. If it's a flower we're looking for, maybe he's the man for the job. All right. Never thought of it. Add him to the list as well. On to group two. This subject is a guide who will never get lost. Maybe a seedling. That's kind of abstract. Hmm. Hmm. Does it just mean someone is that who never loses they their guide way? Them with. Wait, but they have hmm. to be able to guide others too. So it's not quite as simple as that. Astrologer then? Oh, you mean Mona? Yeah, she's definitely oh, gosh. found. Mona. Yes, she certainly hmm. seems very comfortable. And she can use her astrology to guide people. Would Bennett count? Yeah, why him? Well, his luck's so bad that as long as you go in the opposite <laughs> direction from him, <laughs> you'll always be uh, going the right way, right? Really? Really? Really, hmm. Paimon? I see. Uh, uh, that's I horrible. Suppose I can't argue that's awful. That logic. Why are you? Add him to the list. Finding everyone won't <laughs> take long, so one extra person won't hurt. Oh, good lord. Would Outrider Amber be a valid candidate for this category as well? Maybe. Yeah, she would! She's got a great sense of direction 
mean, after all, as a matter of fact, when the Traveler and Paimon first came to Mondstadt, she was actually the one who gave us directions. Ooh. Yes, she's certainly a good guide. Is there anyone else? Let me think. Uh, one yes. more. Hmm. I believe there may Albedo once made a set of equipment for Mika from the reconnaissance company. He's their surveyor. Ooh, an exceptional a pathfinder. Finder. Nice. He's even instructed others in the discipline of surveying before. So, in my view, <laughs> he's highly unlikely to lose his way and would be very good at helping others find theirs. Nice. Cool! Another one for our list! Wait. Kali should have been here by now. wonder uh -oh. what's taking her so long. I Sorry. think there might be trouble. Could we continue our chat? Oh, you want to go see how she's doing, right? Sure. Let's all go. <laughs> Let's go. Yay! A riddle amidst, amidst the crowds. Started. Okay, where is Kali then? Ah. Okay. Well, she's over at the Adventurers Guild. And it's just this quick hop and glide on over. I would say hop, skip, and a jump, but it's a bit more than that. But oh well. Eee. Now plunge. Hi, Kali. Hope we're not intruding or anything. Is everything okay? Ah, Sucrose! I, uh, I was preparing oh, God. stuff. Is that time is, already? What is wrong oh, no. with you, Kali? I, I'm sorry. <laughs> Dropping gifts and now she's trying to find Don't worry. Hide it. The hmm. Traveler and I only just met up. <laughs> we were just worried that you might get lost along the way. So we thought that we'd come get you. Oh, sure. Thank you. I'm ready to join you now. Um, how's that thing going? Okay. Ah, you see. So let's pick up where we left off. Next up is the third line. One who would never lie. Hmm. Uh, Anyone spring to mind? Why do you look though? Man, that seems weird. Uh, you really think so? Seems like it would be pretty difficult for someone in his position <laughs> to avoid having to lie. Right? Then what about Kaya? He's the cavalry captain and a rather popular figure. No, but he's not. He's not good either. You think there's something the fishy about him too, huh? <laughs> yeah. Hmm. Uh, there's the tone deaf bard. <sighs> but on yeah, some he, facts, he wouldn't qualify either. He lies either. about Conry and she stuff. Way to Acting Grandmaster Jean. She has a good name in that regard. Uh, but oh, from what geez. I know, she sometimes covers harder, up the truth it? out of. For example. When mm, Lisa loses mm, track of time mm, in the library mm. and misses her patrol shift, Jean will come up with some excuse, like Lisa's ill today. Uh, also, looks like she's covering she up. sometimes makes up stories to get Clea to behave, like the one about the big <laughs> monster that comes to catch naughty kids who don't Jump go to bed off. on time. Really? Do you think that rules her out? Yeah. Hmm. White lies are still lies, but mm. do we really have to reject her because of some harmless fibs? It's not like she had evil intentions. If it doesn't fit the bill, it doesn't fit the bill. No! We're the ones being- Rosaria doesn't strike me as the type of person to lie. Yeah, maybe that's oh, it. Oh, Kale, you probably haven't met her yet, have you? <laughs> She's a sister from the church who looks, um... A little scary a and little not scary very sociable. Not very sociable. Words. She stopped by the alchemy bench once, a long time ago, and asked me about Albedo. I thought maybe she was trying to find him, for work or something. But when I asked, she just said that she was curious mm -hmm. about him because he was so intelligent and wanted to talk to his assistant to find out what he was like. Interesting. A lot of people might have given a more tactful justification, but I could see in her face that she wasn't trying to hide anything. She was just very direct and straightforward. <sighs> That's why I don't think of her as the lying type. Yep. Rosaria doesn't look like the sort of person you'd want to get into a fight with. <laughs> Oh, Maybe gosh. she just finds mm. her way out of situations that some people might lie to get out of. Probably. I can definitely see that. I've also heard the other sisters say that Rosaria doesn't even make excuses when she skips choir. She just doesn't show up. Jeez. She's a tough cookie, huh? In that case, I think Sino fits in this list, too. Oh, no. Really? Why? Ah, true. Lying's probably more trouble than it's worth for someone like him. <laughs> kind of like with Sorry. Oh no. Oh, and Paimon also nominates Razor, but he couldn't lie to save his life. Probably not. I've also 
still got someone else in mind. Noel, the trainee knight. Oh, well, it's She's probably Noel. Probably Noel. Alrighty, ready. Wait, there's one more person. Huh? You mean Tomei? Myas. Yes, him. Um, truth be told. Oh no. He's oh no. Really? Recently. We're gonna get him in advancement on this story. Or slack Lord. off until he succeeds in getting the woman he loves. Oh lordy. Tomei okay. has a crush. Yes, that's that. <laughs> Who is it? Do you know her? I've never met her. All I know is that she's from Liyue. Tomei says that she's fine, Inger. has a great personality, and is very, very good looking. <laughs> Since we're on the topic, helping Tomei win the lady of his dreams <laughs> was also really? one of my goals for this one. But how can we help with? I don't know. Make sure he uses nice paper and a fancy envelope when he sends letters to her. Oh, Help him pick a nice know. gift and wrap it properly. That sort of thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I had the same situation once in the Avidia Forest. I helped another forest ranger out by delivering a love letter to the co-worker she likes. Oh, yeah, no. that sort of thing exactly. Jeez, Colin, really? Oh, also, You're a I helped too? him with some of the groundwork for one of his research Talk projects. Talk about cringe. <laughs> he must have appreciated it. Because he gave me a refrigeration device that he's been developing as a thank you gift. Oh, nice. nice. Is it any good? Um, I mean, it looks nice. Oh, wow. <laughs> Sounds like a no. Hmm. All right. <laughs> Guess we'll put Loverboy down. Well, the what about again. you? You're a pretty. Okay, pretty so first of all, secrets. we have a legend that never ends. Hmm. <laughs> Lisa, perhaps? A librarian understands books best, and aren't most legends written down somewhere? Not necessarily, but you do have a point in, in some case. When I think about legends, fairy tales and picture books come to mind. Yeah. Maybe Kai! She read a lot of fairy tales when Tainari was teaching <laughs> her to read. Right? Oh, of course you do. I'll put you on the list. I prefer to read things like an illustrated analysis of alchemical substances and their uses, <laughs> the fascinating <laughs> principles of crafting, oh, no. and hypotheses of life. Really dry material, huh? Taken. Hmm. Clay might be a good choice. Oh, yeah, Her yeah, mother, yeah. Alice, is a renowned traveling author. Hmm. So I'll bet she's been exposed to all sorts of myths and legends. Probably so. All right, then. Clay may... Well, that should just about do it. Do we have to ask Absol? It mm. is. So, I was thinking that perhaps we should split up. Yeah. That might make our search more effective. Probably. Oh, I would yeah. split up. Also, I've thought of a method of gathering feedback. No problem. We can do that. You and the traveler are practically joined at the hip, so you two <laughs> can go together. I'll pair up with Kale. Okay. Capable Kale and Sensible Sucrose. Sounds like a winning combination. <laughs> Love it. Okay. Love it. Love it. I promise I'll help. Rest assured that the unbeatable Traveler and <laughs> will do our part too. Off, Off we, we go. go. I plan on starting from the person with the most defined stronghold. So let's go to the library. Lisa should be there. Okay. Stronghold. That's an uh interesting word to use. Right. Um, maybe den. Oh, that's, no, that's even, even worse. worse. How about layer? Yeah, the layer. The layer. Find Lisa. Should be here, right? Yep. Here we are. Oh no, that was a bad word choice. Now secrets are using it. <laughs> Come on, it's all really? My fault. Lisa. It's okay. Might I ask if? Huh? What a mess. Oh, great. And they're here. They're walking in step, too. Sucrose. Kale. What are you doing here? <laughs> I can only sucrose that they were Kale-ing on someone. Oh, no. At least uh, that's as far as <laughs> I know. <laughs> Why? Just <laughs> stop it with these puns. I beg you. Why? Why? Are you trying to win worldwide fame for unfunny jokes? <laughs> oh. Oh no, why? This is worse than some of my humor. This is horrible. Um, is Lisa <laughs> not here at the moment? Oh no. Surprising, isn't it? 
<laughs> she went out. I'm afraid it's just us here looking for information. Oh boy, Except me. I'm not here for information. Mm. Like you, I came here for an abortive search for the librarian, <laughs> who is also my academia mm. senior. Oh, <laughs> so you studied in the same darshan as Lisa? <laughs> That's right. Her mentor in Sumeru was also my benefactor. We were both Spontamod students. Oh, wow, that's cool. But we're, <coughs> we're getting sidetracked. We came here to look for some information. Kale and I are investigating a prophecy. And mm -hmm. we were hoping you all might be able to help. Oh, well, what sort of prophecy? Hmm. So they share, and here we are. Hmm, I see. You want to ask them about the flower that is not of this world, and me about the one who would never lie. But there's no rush. You don't need to answer right away. We're just here to tell you about the situation. You can take your time to think it over and submit- The sucrose ma- Yep. I was thinking about it on the way. And although they seem like trick questions, there's a lot to mull over once you get down to the details. Mm. A quick mm. answer off the top of your head might not go into enough depth. Why so, not? I decided to place a mailbox next to the alchemy crafting table. Everyone can submit their written answers there when they're ready. Nice. We don't have to call it the sucrose mailbox, though. It could just <laughs> as well be called the sucrose and... <laughs> I think in this case, we can just go with your quick answer off the top of your head. <laughs> Sounds like a good solution. Certainly... Agreed. Certainly when it comes to discerning whether someone is a liar or not. You cannot simply take them at their word. Right. Understood. Once we've had a look into it, we'll place our replies into your mailbox. Nice. Thank you all so much. Okay, let's tick them off the list and carry on working our way down. Awesome. Mm -hmm. Oh. Already done. Already done. I'm pleasantly surprised to see those two introverts getting along so well. <laughs> introverts. Do you get the oh, feeling no. that Kale's return to Mondstadt has emboldened her more contrarian side? Yes. Contrarian. I'd noticed oh, that good too. Lord. Traveling and meeting old friends are both good for the body and soul. And isn't rediscovering one's youth while revisiting old haunts a worthwhile pursuit? Yep. When I first met Kale, she'd never known happiness or youth. But Aww. things are different now. Her Elazar being cured was a huge milestone in her life. Thank Kale you, is a Mahida. very sensitive and introverted child. I'm sure you must have noticed that too, Albedo. From the yep. time she's been in my care, I've observed that she's actually a very lively character by nature. But she had a very rough start in life, and it changed her. Aww, so, might I assume that your respective claims of looking for plants and artists in Mondstadt were just pretexts yeah. i wouldn't say that not really both kale and genius invocation tcg are very important to me Good would word. it really kill you to just say yes in this situation <laughs> fine no. yes we came out of concern for kale she's been back to mondstadt of her own accord <laughs> several times but it has led to no significant improvement in her mood well it won't hurt to give her some more time I believe that Sucrose might be able to help her. Yeah, they'll end up being friends, I'm Sounds sure. Sounds like an extension of your own self-confidence as her teacher. Yep. You could say that. <laughs> In a similar vein, I've heard that Sumeru scholars often build their social relationships based on their academic ones. Is that true? I suppose it might look like that from your perspective. Sumeru society is something of a special case. The reason it is known as the City of Learning is because all of its resources are in some way linked to academia. Of as course. such, academic course. resources equate to social capital. It is not unheard of, for example, for people to build a family in order to <laughs> pursue further oh, studies. No. Really? But the relationship between the three of us is not an academic one turned social. We've never even worked on a paper together, for starters. Yeah. Oh, so... The academic paper is the nexus of the academic family. Interesting. Hmm. Interesting. I would think of us more as siblings. An equal and pure relationship, unaffected by academic considerations. Siblings? Oh boy. <sighs> as much as I'd prefer not to admit <laughs> it, that statement is not inaccurate. I can understand right? that position. I have a younger sister myself, 
And it's only natural for me to be protective of her. Right. What you described fits the idea of a city of learning, as I imagine it. The mm -hmm. family is where all social relationships intersect. Yes. As such, the a family is. founded on common goals may actually be more stable. Yes. By the way, who's the eldest between you? Oh, no. Let's not go down this rabbit hole, please. <laughs> oh, no. In terms of age, I'm the eldest, of course. He just doesn't want it. to admit it. But your mental no. age is younger than that. I dare say even by enough to be the youngest <laughs> sibling. Perhaps I could bring Kale into this happy family to be your elder sister. Oh, no. no. Oh, no. You will never see me admit to being the youngest <laughs> sibling. Except perhaps as a last-ditch effort to turn the tables in a game of cards. Good lord. <sighs> I know is a bit of a, a piece of work. Even at the best of times. Can't believe Kali and Sucrose do it. Fingers crossed all goes well for them. Let's try our luck at the bulletin board, shall we? A lot of people tend to show up there at some point in the day. We will get lucky. Who knows? Bulletin board, huh? Okay. I didn't know there was one. I'll end up finding out where it is. I'll probably be very disappointed once I get there. Oh yeah, I think I already know. Now what? Just as we hoped. There's a load of people here. I'm sitting huh? bulletin board. Even Lisa's here. Hi everyone. Long time no see. Hey there, traveler and Paimon. Ah, it's Bennett. Oh boy. Infamous bad luck, Ben. We've been doing pretty well. You look surprised, cuties. Is it because of me? Teacher is not, not at the usual, usual place. place. Nope, not at all. <laughs> oh, please. It's not as if I'm glued to my chair. I like to get out for a little <laughs> fresh air every <laughs> once in a while. Right. Mika's here today, so I thought it'd be a good time to introduce him to Bennett and Razor. Nice. They're all out and about quite often, so it's helpful for them to get to know one another. Yeah. <clears throat> uh... Hello, everyone. M my name is Mika. Hey, Mika. Good to see you again. Online land surveyor of the Knights of Colonies. Uh, reconnaissance, reconnaissance company. Hmm. Interesting. I, nice. I look forward to working with you. No need Jeez, to be so dude. formal. We've known them for ages. Oh. They're cool. Wind bloom. Actually, we haven't gotten to the fun part yet. We've been busy investigating a prophecy. Nice. A prophecy? What kind? <laughs> a good one or? Explain the prophecy and tell everyone what you're doing. Gosh, that all sounds quite fascinating. Nice. I can't believe I made it onto your list of names. Do you really think I'll be able to help? Maybe. Believe. Right. Believe in Believing yourself. yourself. Yeah. You're a first-rate adventurer, Bennett. Okay, then in that case, I'll step up and present my thoughts on the matter. Hmm. Uh, except I forgot I'm not really good at organizing <laughs> my thoughts. Oops. Oh, oh there's no need to tell us all of your thoughts right here and now. Sucrose said she'll put a mailbox next to the crafting bench, so you can just write down your thoughts when they come to you. A meticulous and efficient plan. I will think also. Give me some time. You still have other people on your list that you need to go see, right? We should leave you to it. Okay, awesome. bye for now. Bye. Let's head over to Star Snatch Cliff next. And even if we don't find any familiar faces, you can see really far from up at the top. Maybe we can find people that way. Oh, Maybe. You're working so hard. Do be sure to get some rest when you mm -hmm. can. If you get tired, you know you're always welcome to visit me for a break and a cup of tea. Awesome. You know, a cup of tea sounds awesome right now. Storm Bear Mountains, huh? Okay, why are we going there? Where to next? Let me check my notes. Huh, oh, this, this way. way. Got it. Kali, please follow me. Awesome. Let's go. Someone that matches the prophecy. Ah, who are they? No idea. Is there? 
Ay, pues, ¿qué onda? Dos de media Media Oh, it's our lucky day. There are several people, people over there. Hey, it's all of the people wow. we know. And Eula's with her too. Eula, Lawrence. So adorable. <laughs> Colin, we were just talking about you. Oh, right. I don't think you've been introduced to Noel before. Kale, this is Noel, <laughs> maid of the Knights of Favonius. Oh my. Nice to meet you, Kale. I missed you the last few times you were in Mondstadt, so I'm glad to finally meet you in person. Awesome. Oh, uh nice to meet you too, Noel. My name is Polly. But you already knew that, knew didn't that. you? Relax, you two. Mm -hmm. There's no need to be so courteous. We're not on some kind of diplomatic mission here. Sure, Clee, sure. what are you doing here? Are you planning to blast some fish? <laughs> Come on. No, nope. Clee's on patrol with the other knights. You know, for a, for a under 10 uh, year old, now he's that you really it, awesome. It looks like everyone here is a knight oh. of Favonius except for Kale and me. I, think, uh, I heard that there was a very young knight mm, in the ranks, mm, mm, but it's mm. still a surprise to see with my own eyes. Right. Kale, what do you I'm a trainee forest ranger in the Avidia Forest. Trainee? It means I'm not officially a fully qualified forest watcher yet. I'm still learning. Nice. Oh, you're just like me. I'm still working towards becoming <laughs> a fully qualified knight. Wait, wait, really? Technically, though the distinction is hardly relevant right now. This isn't a very formal patrol. Really? We're just chatting. She still hasn't been accepted into the knights yet. What is wrong with me? Oh, yeah, you need to give Noelle some justice. She's been working on this for two years now. We've gone through almost four different full updates. Well, now almost three full updates and still no Noelle in the nights. What gives? <sighs> Don't panic, Collie. <laughs> Come on. Just pick a topic and join the conversation. Don't panic. <laughs> Whatever you do, don't panic. Mm. It's just Amber and her friends. There's no need to be nervous. Oh, good lord. I, I, I love the fact. What is with the uh, lighting situation? Jeez. But uh, I, I love that we get to see her in her monologue. Were you chatting about the new guests <laughs> in town? Yep. Right. A few folks from Sumeru have come to visit, so we're brainstorming a few nice surprises for them. Nice Amber. surprises. Awesome. Uh, <laughs> At least I didn't say anything about what the surprises are. Uh, no, how am I supposed to join this conversation now? What do I say to that? Oh, Speaking Lord. of nice surprises, we've actually had a fairly big one recently. Oh, poor Holly's got a, a, a small frown on her face because she doesn't know how to proceed. What kind of surprise? Tell me, tell me! Mm -hmm. uh, I'm saved. Sucrose has given me a lead in. Mm -hmm. now, I just... Awesome. Hmm. What an interesting prophecy. I have no idea what the answers could be, though. So essentially, you're gathering information to help you solve mm. the riddles, correct? I'll do my best to help. Thank you so much, Eula. Anytime. There's no need to answer right away. We'll put a mailbox. I'll drop something in there for sure. Awesome. Nice idea. I think we can all commit to writing a note. We'll see what we can come up with. Right. Yep, don't worry. You can count on us. But we do have to finish our patrol first. What route awesome. are you taking today? We started in the Storm Bearer Mountains and we'll end at the city gates. <laughs> You'd be very welcome to join <laughs> us, but um no. There's always next time. We'll join <laughs> up with you after we're done working through this prophecy. Awesome. Oh yeah. So um uh, We'll be on our way. We'll be see you later. Have a safe trip back. Thank you. I appreciate it. <laughs> you know, I still love the fact that Klee is an actual knight, but I hate the fact that we're still waiting on Noel. Are to you join. okay, Kale? 
Uh, was that obvious? obvious? No, 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 not at all. It just looked like you had something on your mind. Mm. So that means it was obvious. <laughs> oh, come on, it's not that bad. Whatever is bothering you, you can talk to me about it if you want. I'm happy to help. Yeah, Thanks they're gonna end us. up being friends. Well, uh, the truth is, I don't really know how to act around Amber and the others. Really? I thought you two were good friends. Maybe we so, are. but no. Uh... Amber's a really important friend to me. I don't know. I guess if I'm being completely honest, the problem's probably with me. Oh, come on. Don't start that the now. The first time I came to Mondstadt, I was really immature. <laughs> I didn't want to let people in, and I was generally pretty awful to everyone. Well, Amber was the one person who didn't give up on me. Her backstory? And if it wasn't for her persistence, really? I wouldn't have found a friend at all. Without Amber, I might not even be here today. And because of that, <laughs> I really look up to her. I think of her as my role model, in hopes that maybe one day, I could learn to be like her. But after trying oh. and failing for several years, I think I finally realized. I'm no Amber, and I never will be. Well, you had to ever be, Kali, is yourself. The fact that you're that you're healthy now means that you can finally discover who that actually is. Looking back, it seems silly that I ever thought like that. Or nothing alike at all. My personality's so... <laughs> weird. I always get so anxious, and I overthink everything. You know what? I do the same, Kali. You know, you getting over your Alizar and me getting over my addictions and stuff, it sounds like it's about the same kind of story where we don't know who we are after we've gotten past that. So now we're trying to rediscover everything about ourselves yet again. And sometimes it's a bit rough, but it works out. Oh, Kali, don't say that. <laughs> um, Sucrose, would it be okay if <laughs> I... Told you a bit about my past? Hmm. Lovely scenery, huh? So, uh, the whole thing? Oh, I already knew bits and pieces about her. But still, why did she have to go through all that? Uh, I'm no one sorry. Really can tell just met and I'm already dumping all of this on you. This is why I get so frustrated at myself. I'm always doing this. I get into a spiral of self-doubt <laughs> and then I end up having to find somewhere to vent it all out. It's okay. No, no, no. It's Some fine. people need that. I'm really glad that you're willing to tell me all this. People don't open up about their deepest feelings unless they really trust the other person. Don't you think? And, I mean... Um, you oh God, she's probably blushing. noticed by now, oh no. <laughs> but I don't have the best social skills either. I always just end up talking about the things I'm interested in and going on and on. But even so, <laughs> you still listen to me when I talk my head off about alchemy. Awesome. <laughs> it's a relief to listen to you talking about yourself for once. Right? If you hadn't told me all of those things... I never would have guessed that you struggled so much. Honestly, it's 33 I feel like we're very similar people. I think I'm to stop after really? too long. Yeah. Everyone has their own problems to deal with. I certainly do. Yeah, I know that. All the feelings that you talked about just now, I totally get it. It takes so much more effort for us introverts to fit into a crowd. Right? When you were saying about how you try to think about what to say in advance, and you're constantly terrified of saying the wrong thing and making things awkward. I relate to that so much. Oh, and also <laughs> that part about studying under a genius. Right. In <laughs> fact, before meeting you, I never met anyone who seemed so similar to myself. Oh, um, I'm not very good at giving words of comfort or anything. And I'm not going to tell you to just get over it or stop worrying about it. How about we just sit here for a little while? Oh. We don't have to force a conversation if we can't think of anything. We can just sit here together. That's wonderful. That's wonderful, Sucrose. Sucrose has stopped talking. Sometimes but you need for some reason, this doesn't feel quiet. awkward at all. That 
Maybe she's right. Silence. We're more similar than I realized. In Sumeria, Silence. I always like to find a quiet place to just sit and watch the scenery. <laughs> and it's always by myself. I never thought there'd be a day when I could do this with someone else by my side. Aww. Because that breeze is so gentle and soft. Hey, Kale. See that cloud over there? Doesn't it look like one of my test tubes? Oh, this is uh, so heartwarming. I don't think so. When it's even got. <sighs> Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> then maybe we're not quite on the same wavelength on everything. I mean, at least not when it comes to looking at the This almost seems like a, a very <laughs> appropriate kind of theme. Thank you, Sucrose. With their conversation. I feel much better after talking to you. Mm. Yeah. It helps a lot, doesn't I, it? I, I love coming back I to mindset. I also to my flasks sometimes. The next time Listening we get the chance, the I have to show you my tetratonic sweet flower. And my tetratonic wind bloom. Nice. Your tetra... what? Two of my favorite things I've made. They're really cool. I think you might <laughs> like them. Uh, oh, this might. okay. Yeah, you'll definitely have to show them to me sometime. Right. I brought some crackers with me. You want one? There's cheese flavor or tomato flavor. Nice. Sure. Hmm. <laughs> I'll try the cheese one. Awesome. Cheese crackers. Oh, look. They're enjoying the scenery together. <laughs> oh, that's hmm. cute. Shall we go play with them? No, it's fine. Let them sit for a while. Awesome. We are not what Kale needs right now. She needs a new friend. Someone different who's never met her before. Yeah. I don't get it. Is there a difference? There hmm. is. You'll understand once you're a little older, Klee. People can draw different kinds of strength from different kinds of friends. And right now, Kali needs someone that's just not the same old me. Right? <laughs> you know, that is brilliant. That is beautiful. Okay, alright. So, I think... I'm going to leave it here with this part. I'm going to I'm going to soldier on and finish the other part. But at least for this recording, I'm going to end it here so that I can have it at a uh, more bite-sized piece, you know. So I'll see you right after this for the next part of the Wind Bloom 2023 special. Have a great night and God bless.